remember rightly. I know it's a bit... Oh, I didn't see him last time, neither. Okay, okay, I didn't see... Uh, what are you selling then, son? Oh, he's a never trader, so he's going to trade up. Oh, that's awesome. So I bet you... Hmm, in the desert, there'll be a desert trader. Greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you all today? Good, I hope. Right, welcome to a Minecraft Marketplace map showcase. So, what this is, if you're new to the channel or you've just clicked on this uh, video by mistake, I go into the Minecraft Marketplace store, mostly on a Tuesday when it gets updated. I have a look around. I'll have a look at the new maps first of all and look at some of the old maps. I buy one, I pay for it, I download it, and then I invite you to come and have a look around me. And all it costs you is a like. And while you're there, you might as well click the subscribe button because I do loads of these. I've got 50,000 Let's Plays running. I play on servers. Anything to do with Minecraft, cheesecake's all over it. So, this one is new. Well, it's new on the uh, time of recording. It came on Tuesday. Uh, it's called Ant Farm. It's by Snail Studios. I'll read what it says. That's a mouthful. It? It's Snail Studios. <laughs> I'll read what it says. It says, the world has shrunk down. It's up to you now to survive and thrive in this new adventure based on being the size of an ant. Because you're in like one of them ant home things you remember the old used to game years ago like two panes of glass it's about two inches wide and the ants live in there it's got four epic dungeons to explore i know where they are i'm not going to show you all of them because if you know i mean if you pay for it you want to be able to find yourself but i'll show you i'll show you two of them near the end of the video uh five cool custom villagers a unique current set and economy system which is pretty cool to be honest with you five uh, adventure minecraft skins included it's 830 coins and at time recording this has got a 4.9 and i'll be true for you i can see why because i've had a i've had a quick look round, and uh it's very impressive uh 830 coins yeah that's all there is to it so you will spawn exactly just here where i am i've already done it so i can go into creative here if you have to so you can't you can't get off the edge of the world that's like the glass area there they're the corners of the tank obviously that's the other side that's one side you've got a little chest just here uh with a book in i think it just tells you the basics what i've just read but we'll have a quick look in just in case it says welcome to ant farm by snail studios let us know what you think on twitter always rate these maps if you buy them and you enjoy them uh the map has four dungeons and plenty of places for you to explore which is called cool. traders uh the, the map has five custom villages it's a really cool way of getting to the where the trading centers are, which I'll show you. Uh, trades and coins are the currency used by the villagers for trading. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out for the green swirly portals. I will show you them as well. Uh, boom, boom, boom. You can see the rest of it there. So in that chest there, it's plenty of books if you want to read or you forgot anything. Like I said, you'll spawn just there. You can't get outside the map. You're in this bit here. If we have a look down the edge, in fact, let me uh, just do this. So we might as well go straight into a creative now so I can show you boom like that so if we go across the edge here okay it, you can see sometimes you can see right down the side I'll, I'll jump down in a second we'll have a run through here and i'll show you because just down here obviously there's beehives it's this it's a new map so it's all been updated uh let's just do this we go over here okay here just here's your first little village so you spawn just there it's literally as wide as this i can't remember how many blocks it is i did count it to be truthful y'all okay so you'll come across here there's a there's a well down there with a sneaky chest in. Okay, so just, just make sure you're always looking around because there's always some sneaky, sneaky... I'll show you what's in it. Let me show you. Boom, that's what's in it. So get yourself a couple of ant coins to start off with. But that's the only one I'm showing you. The rest of them you're going to have to find, otherwise I'm going to spoil it for you. There's a uh, thing here. Now this is how you get to the trading centres, the trading areas, which I'll show you in a second. But if we go down here, go in here, we've got a cobwebs couple of chests is there anything in the chest and uh, there's a few bits and bobs in the chest they're worth looking for but uh it, it won't be a bad little start to it's a, it's a door upper as i'd say that's an absolute door upper so if we jump in here this little swirly thing i might have to go back into uh oh no we're all right there we go let's put me back into it so this here is a trading hall it says shop 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 so each one of these people here trade different stuff so you can go across like so click on him there we go so he's for uh, he's trading all your all your ores by the look of it. So five ant coins and a gold ingot for a diamond. Not too bad. Not too bad. That ain't fishing buckets. So you get oh we get the wither heads there as well. That's Andy, and I know you'll know why I'm making it. I'll show you. But that that's Andy. Okay, so if we go across here to the skis here, have a look what he's doing. So you can sell your wheat for your ant coins, coal for your ant coins, and rotten flesh. So your um mob farm's gonna be awesome. Coal, you know what I mean? Not too bad to get. All the ores generating here. And some of them generate quite well. Let me tell you something. Yeah, just a little in. Don't spend any money on diamonds. Okay. Let's click on this bloke here. Let's have a look what he's got. 
So he's selling all your blocks and your saplings. All you, yeah, he's, look, he's selling. He's selling quality. He's not bad, he ain't, to be honest with you. This one here with a little eye, eye sector on, I think that's called. So he's selling blocks and he's also selling spawn eggs. I mean, yeah, the five coins each, but you can get parrots, foxes, bees. You can get everything you want. And if you want to go back, this will take you back to the one you came through. All you're going to do is go across here, stand on this. Boom, baby. And we're back. There we go. We're back where we was before. Let me just go settings. That's just because it's... Oh, it's just changed this one. Creative. Okay. So, like I said, this is glass wall. We can't get out the top, obviously, because you've got a glass ceiling on it. So, it goes up and down. So, be very, very careful. There's a mine there. Might be worth having a quick look at. But if you go all the way down here, it goes from, like... I think this is just like a normal plains uh, forest thing. Then it goes into this. Okay, now if we go along here and you have a quick look. You always got to be looking around because there is tons. I went over this map three or four times. There is absolutely tons and tons of things hidden. And all of a sudden you come across it. Oh, that, that, that's interesting. We're going to have a look down there. Okay, so this is where it ends. So you've got desert and then you've got fingers. So if we drop down here, you can see there's another little village here for you to have a, have a look in. It's got some... Uh, What's the name there? I've not a look, look in each of one of these houses. The little chest there wasn't in the chest. <sighs> That's not bad, is it? I love it when the chest got some good loot in it. If we go along here, we've got in here, got another chest there, a little flower and everything else. But obviously, you want to be pretty careful down here because mobs will be spawning. This nice room, bed, couple of beds in there, and everything else. So if we go, I think it is in this direction. Yeah, it is. Now. You've got, you've got this thing here, right, which is like a, a massive kind of house, church thing. Okay, we can go and have a look. I don't want to spoil it for you. This, this thing here is a dungeon. Okay, do you know when it says it's got f uh, four epic dungeons for you to explore? This is classed as a dungeon, but it's not a normal, not a normal kind of dungeon. You think you're just going to run in here and fight it, if you can get through here. If we go and have a look, like so, and I'll show you up. You can see it's got a bit of a swirly, swirly thing going on. I've not really had a look around it. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, that is how you're going to get to the dungeon. So if we, uh, if we stand on here, boom. Oh, this is a bad place. This is a bad place. This one's really, really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, I'm not going to survive this. I'll tell you that now. Can we get out of here? <laughs> okay, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Settings. Let's go. Uh, oh, creative, creative. Oh, that were close. If we go through here, can I go through? I don't know if I can go through this on creative. Or put it back in. Let's go settings. Creative. Oh, I died. Got me before I got in there. And it puts you back at the beginning because I'm not set to spawn. <sighs> give, give me a few seconds and I'll bring you back. Right, welcome back. <laughs> wow, that took some time. That did. I'll come through there three or four times. You all hung around here. Every time I come through, I died. So this... Obviously, I've come into a dungeon. This is a bad, bad place, this is. But I think there's some good treasure in it. Now, be very careful when you're opening them chests because, as you can see, they've got a bit of red around them. So, they're trapped chests. But this, this is a whole new world for you to come and try to conquer. There is some cracking treasure in it. I'm not going to show you yet. They've got a poor iron golem caught up here and everything else. They've got a few houses for you to explore. A bit of a tower. Uh, all I'd say is, when you come through here, make sure you've got yourself... There's a spawner there. Make sure you've got yourself some uh, good armor and you're prepared to fight because it is absolutely nightmare. Otherwise, you'll be going straight back to the respawn screen. So, uh, this is this is one dungeon. And let me tell you something, right? This is this is an easy dungeon. Right, it's here. So obviously spawns here. Obviously we flew over this. Down here, as you can see, is the Never. Okay, this this is this is what I think is the coolest and got the coolest coolest dungeon and it's got the coolest generation to answer you down here so if we go down here there's some there's some cool things to go and find there is also a dungeon down here so uh it's worth having a look around and uh, because i've just said where that other junction is, i don't know if i want to just show i might as well show you show you so you obviously got a thingy just here as you can see it's, it's pretty dark but down there is another dungeon and when you go into that dungeon believe me you are going to open a whole Whole new world of pain. Absolutely a whole new world of pain. Because it is absolutely horrendous. Let me just show you what's uh, good down here. So this is like your never fortress, like you would normally see. That there. Come on, let me show you. Uh, I never showed you the actual thing on. So this 
is the other dungeon. Okay. Pretty, pretty bad place, to be honest with you. <laughs> a really bad place. And there's something even worse when you go through one of them openings. You will, uh, you'll end up somewhere really, really, really bad. Uh, let's just do settings before we get absolutely jumped on. Creative. Right, okay, we'll go through here. Let me, we'll have a, we'll have a quick look around. So you've got a blaze spawner straight down here, which, which is not the best. You've got them, I can't remember what they're called, them things there. If we go down here, through through this bit here, I mean, I absolutely love this. This is absolutely awesome. We've got we've got some little little things from here to there and everywhere. If we go up here, around here, I mean, th this is some battle. This is some battle to get out of this. I'll tell you, you're not, not going to be completing, completing this in, in two seconds. Because look at all the spawners. And I'll tell you something else. There is a wither. <sighs> the goodies are uh, are awesome. There is a wither, believe me. If you carry on looking around this place, I don't want to show you where it is because it's a, it's a bit of a surprise when you find it, but there is actually a, a wither that you can go and fight in here as well. That's why it gives you some heads and you can buy the heads. They're easy enough to get, but it's, it's just, I just love, I love this dungeon. I, I just thought this dungeon was, was one of the best, to be honest with you, and one of the hardest. I like the way the spawners, I don't know why they don't make the dungeons like this in a uh, finger. The spawners are uh, hanging from the chains are absolutely awesome. Where's, um, I'll tell you what I didn't find last time. Because I just went back. Oh, some sneaky chests and plenty of torches, plenty of things. Okay, oh, we, this is a, you wouldn't want to come in here, would you? This is a proper bad place in here. I didn't have a look in here last time. There's plenty of chests. That's what I like. Do you know what I really, really like about this map? Plenty of chests, plenty of goods. A reason to go and have a look around. It's all right exploring, but we all like to find some, uh, some nice stuff. All I need to find now is find where the, um, portal is how to get back is this the i think this is the uh wither room isn't it is it if i remember rightly oh, no, a bit... oh i didn't see him last time neither okay okay i didn't see uh what are you selling then son oh he's a never trader so he's gonna trade oh that's awesome so i bet you hmm in the desert there'll be a desert trader in that dungeon let's just have a quick look at the chests wow Wow, the chests are awesome. I mean, just look at it. What a stunning. Uh, just just stunning. The best. It, well, uh, the, um, the other dungeon's pretty cool, to be truthful. I'm <laughs> looking at them all. It's, it's a really, really cool map. Oh, you, 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 there's so many bits and bobs I could show, but I don't want to spoil it for you. How you get back, I can't remember. I can't remember where the portal is to get back out of here, to be truthful. It must be down one of these somewhere. It's just that down there. Where's the portal out to get back then? We've been down here, haven't we? We've been through. Yeah, this is a dungeon. How how you get back? I don't know. I did find a portal. Hmm. Very interesting. You need to be looking for one of them blue squirrely things, and that's how you're going to get back. I'd imagine it'd be in the main room. To be truthful, or it might be down. It might suddenly appear when you run down one of them. But yeah, four dungeons. This gives you this gives you some idea how good the dungeon is. Obviously, I showed you a, a little bit of the desert dungeon, but uh, and obviously you've seen the, the aquatic one. But there's still one more to find, and I didn't show you inside them all. But this this is absolutely awesome. So it's called Ant Farm. Remember, you can't get out the sides at all. Uh, but dig up and down. That's my tip. Dig up and down. And let me tell you something. When you dig down in a certain place, diamonds not a problem, and I mean not a problem. So I'll read what it says again. It says the world has been shrunken down. It's up to you now to survive and thrive in this new adventure based around being the size of an ant. Four epic dungeons, and they are epic. They're, I mean, just look at this. They are epic. Uh, five cool custom villages. Well, there's one there. We found another one. Go and have a look around. Uh, a unique currency and economy system. Five adventurous Minecraft skins included. 830 coins. 4.9 on the rating. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely 10 out of 10 for Cheese Cat. I just... I just think these are, I just think they're brilliant. I just absolutely love them. Uh, 830 coins. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one of the Minecraft Marketplace map showcases. Or if you subscribed, I'll see you in one of my Let's Plays. Hey, worth subscribing just for that. Take care. See you later. Bye. Right. Uh, me need to find my way out because I forgot.